I decided to, I wanted to do some lake this morning before um, I have the Amber Isle stream oh, later. The Wiggle Snorlax emote does not get enough usage. Look at the look at it. Look at it. Yeah, so if you were um If you were hoping for that dinosaur game, not yet. I'll be using it. You've you've replaced the that the corn one with that. You've, you you like doing that one now? I love that for you. So, I did deliver a couple things, but I, nothing in the story has like, um, nothing in the story has like happened. Um, so. And I discovered I have like a planner in the game that shows, um, yeah. I mean, in general, I feel like I have so many emotes that are just really great. Um, you know, like the animated ones. Like, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at him. And actually, I need to switch out my Halloween and pumpkin ones. I need to put those in. Right? He's like, oh no! And I have this <coughs> Woodwick candle burning right now. So it sounds like a little crackling fireplace. Which is like one of my favorite things. be ending in like an hour and 30 minutes or so because I have to go get my COVID vaccine update and uh, my flu shot so alright and I have discovered there are more Oh, are you not letting me? Oh, shit. I s Let's... I don't know what that just... What reset just did, but... Okay, perfect. It allows me to... Autopilot. Perfect. Because I don't want to drive there. have to get rid of my little pumpkin soon it's it's starting to it has see that dot it's gonna start to get real gross i'm gonna have to get rid of it soon that's fine i'll get another one why do i keep stopping and slowing down when i don't have a stop sign all right package time I'm very excited for the holiday season to play this um, holidays DLC. That should be super fun. Hi, Lori. Got some mail for you today. Oh, That's why, Miss W? Uh, yeah, thanks. What's up, girl? Something on your mind? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? You seem out of it. It's just... 
Angie came by with a movie box and a couple of movies to watch. The Love Bug and A Nightmare on Elm Street. Ugh, did she? I'm not surprised. And you're having trouble picking? Ugh, I don't. But if my parents catch me watching Elm Street, they'll ah. ground me for a week. I wish they'd just take a chill pill and see that I'm basically an adult. I fix cars. Oh, no, that's too bad, Lori. I mean, how Maybe old is she? Maybe you can watch she? it at a friend's house instead. No, I'm homeschooled. There aren't many teenagers here, as you may have noticed. So I don't Ugh. really have any friends to watch Why it. Why are you homeschooling? So it's a love bug for me. It's the 80s. It's safe. Um, I mean, you're a child. I shouldn't be inviting you over to my home. Or my parents' home. I'm like a 40-year-old woman. Well, I'm sure you'll like it too. You'll get to see a nightmare on Elm Street one day. I guess so. Yeah, right? Like, w. I'm Have not nice going to invite this... You too, Lori. Presumably teenager. Yeah, she's like a teenager. She's old enough to watch a nightmare on Elm Street. She she comes across like 14, 15. She's she's old enough to watch it. If she wants to watch it, she's old enough. Any younger than that, I'd be like, yeah, you probably shouldn't be watching it. But Alright. Next spot. Oh wow, I only have okay. The farm and the diner. We'll do the farm first. I wonder which way it's gonna take me. Oh, okay, it's taking me this way. The autopilot is so nice. And it looks like the autopilot for most places, not like the average like neighborhood home. Oh, I see, I'm slowing down at the intersections. Like I'm actually driving and there's gonna be a real car pump a, popping out. Like, watch, I'll do it again. Yeah, see, I'm making sure nobody's coming. <laughs> in a game where there's like five cars in the whole town. It'd be wonderful if towns are actually this small and easy to navigate. My town is actually pretty, oh, it's Fox. Um, my town is pretty, pretty small, like the main part of it. I could, I could in, if I wanted to, it's, it is on the further side and because I'm out of shape and I smoke, it is a little harder for me to do it because there are some hills. Um, there's the diner. We'll be back. Um, but it is doable. Off we go to the farm. Up, oh, he's working, doing something. I'm telling you, I'm here to stay. Looking at your castle. Also, it's time I need to switch out some of the Halloween stuff that I have. Because I have other, like this, this was my stuff for September, the pumpkin stuff. I have like witchy, witchy stuff for October. Oop, gotta get the package. That's lighter than I thought. Meredith, I really wish you would stop commentating on everybody's fucking packages. Hey, uh. Hello, sir. I reckon that's a parcel with my name on it. No. I reckon your name is Jack Reynolds? Indeed I am. And I reckon you're the new postal worker? Oh my god. Enough with the reckon. Indeed I am. Well, thank you much. New around here, I reckon. People call me JR. I'm a farmer and DJ. I mean I'm Meredith. I can nice kind of see it if like you'd been a mail carrier for a long time and you're bored and you're kind of losing your marbles. But she's been doing this job for four fucking days.
I think I've heard you on the radio. You did, eh? Well, it's what I like to do. I had some spare time and a room in the shed, so I figured, why not? About your playlist. Add some songs. I think it could use some more songs. Indeed, indeed, working on that. But I'm in the middle of a potato harvest. Don't have much time. Hey, listen, postal worker Meredith, I need to get back to work. Can you do me a favor and give this envelope to Frank? I'm afraid it would need a stamp first. Oh, well, I'm afraid I don't have them here. I'm being a real stickler for the rules. I can sell you a stamp right now if you want. Don't have cash on me right now. I'm sorry then. Can't do it. Oh, okay. I'll just drive my tractor over to Frank's later tonight. Yeah, it can wait. It's fine. I'm not breaking the, the federal law for you or nobody. Sorry. Not even for Robert. Even if Robert, game Robert, asks me to break the law, I'm not gonna do it. I am a law-abiding postal worker. This is one of my favorite songs. That and the... The... What well, feels like witchcraft. Ooh. That one? I like that one a lot, too. All right. Time to let the autopilot do its job. No, I'm talking about the other Robert. Well, that's why I have, I have specified game Robert. So that we're, we're clear on what's, what's happening here. Okay, what are we slowing down like that for? Ugh, yeah, we had to turn, but like, the autopilot driving is really annoying. Alright. I love how I didn't even park in a spot. That's great. Come on, autopilot, what are you doing? Oh, Kay. Hi, Kay. Delivery for the diner. Hey, Meredith. Sure, just uh, put it on the counter, would you? Kay, about the other day. What about can I, it? Can I say I'm sorry? <sighs> I really put my foot in it. Maybe it wasn't the best time for that conversation. <sighs> Maybe not. Yeah. So. So. I don't really know what the best. I I probably should say the last one, but I talked I don't to Maureen. Know. Let me guess. You got a piece of Maureen's wisdom too, eh? Why doesn't that surprise me? That explains why she wanted me to take over today's shift then. She told me about Uncle Stan. I'm so sorry. Thanks. It was a long time ago, but I appreciate it. It's not the same without him. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you and Maureen. That's kind of you to say, Meredith. I mean, I didn't contact you about it at the time, but then again, I had kind of given up by then. I have no idea Honestly, what I did. I was so overwhelmed back then with university, then work, you know. I get it. There's always a reason for things to go the way they do. Even so, it never seems to be the right reason. Time marches on. What did Maureen always say about that again? One day you realize it's, it's marching, marching across, across your, your face. face. <laughs> <laughs> Maureen. Oh, oh, Mo. Some things never change. Didn't she steal that line from somewhere anyway? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Em. It was good to talk. I mean, you know. Why is she calling me Em? Yeah. 
It was. I have to get back to it, but see you around, maybe? I'm sure. Okay, good. See ya. She doesn't hate me. To the post office. I'm a little nervous about getting my shots because I've never done both of them at the same time before. You know, I've gotten my COVID booster, I've gotten the flu shot, but I've never done them together. So hopefully I don't feel like poop tomorrow. Here I am. All right. Ooh, and we gotta have our little get together with Game Robert. Well now, Meredith and Robert. Welcome to Moe's. Table for two. Hi, Maureen. Yes, please. A quiet one, if possible. We've got work to do. Is that what they're calling it now? Speaking of work, Robert, someone reckon they could fix the roof themselves and uh, <clears throat> made it worse somehow. I mean, foot just went right through. No physical harm, thankfully. The roof. Yes, I promised to take a look at it. Uh, let me check out the damage real quick. Be right back. Thanks, darling. Hmm. Sure is one of the good ones right there. He seems very nice, but I haven't actually talked to him longer than 10 minutes. What's time got to do with anything? <sighs> you know Maureen. what you want when you see it, huh? Maureen. Haha, <laughs> Maureen. I'm Speak gonna, for yourself. <laughs> well, I guess there might be a bit of projection involved. Well, <laughs> who can blame me, right? <laughs> anyway, let me show you to my nicest table. Ah, the sun hits your face in all the right places. Ma'am, this is a business meeting. Okay, so what you're saying is for papers. there's a couple of things we can do, but no chainsaws. Definitely no chainsaws for the moment. It's just that the remaining options will take time, effort, and patience. Well, that's one out of three for me. Can I get you lovebirds? Anything else? Maureen, really. I could always decide not to fix your roof today, you know. Don't worry, Robert. I know Maureen. I'm sure she doesn't mean anything by it. <laughs> A coffee refill would be nice. Thanks, Maureen. Gotcha, hun. Robert? The same for me, please. Sure thing. Back in a jiff. Ashley, is that coffee machine still running? <laughs> they what? Glad we're finally done for today. But there's more to come. Do you think he'll manage? What do you think? To be honest, you probably need some extra help. Is that an offer? Yeah, sure. Okay, you two. Too busy for everybody else, but not too Here busy for game, Thanks, Robert. Marie. Uh, more coffee. How could anyone survive without it? So, how's life in P.O. so far? It's only been a week, but... So far, so good. Yeah, I've been here a bit longer. Oh, he looks wistful. Time sure does fly. Yeah, this is Game Robert. He's just not wearing his hat. Uh, 
Let's go with this one. I'm sure you must have some good stories. Yeah, uh, look, Meredith, I'm sorry. I really better get started on fixing that roof. It's just, uh, that's quite a big job. What's While going on, right Game out, Robert? You know, Let me so, in. Let me know what's so going much on. For your help. I mean, I really do appreciate it. Drive home safe. Um, I'll see you around town. So, so he's trying to save yeah, the forest I'll because they want to chop it down to build apartments. And he's Everything like, okay no. And so she's yeah, trying to help him. I guess. I, I'm not sure. What's wrong with Robert? They definitely, like, updated this game and added stuff to it. I don't remember a lot of these, like, interaction okay. things with Walter Angie Morgan, and, and that that with Robert. That wasn't a thing. Compliance to policies and guidelines, uh. such as the use of Postal Service property, code of conduct, and so on. I will be in touch again soon. But see, I've been following all the rules. Steve. I've been following all the rules. Oh, hi, Steve. Thanks so much for improving the text and sending it back to me. I'm confident this will improve our chances. So, Walter isn't going to get deal. mad at me for nothing because I haven't done anything. You're welcome, Steve. A monster deal? It's a monster deal. The big retailer, big money, big prizes. A monster deal? That is so awesome! Big money, big prizes. Ooh, I need to calm down, too. <laughs> well, yes. Calmness is needed. Eyes on the prize. The next steps are me going to meet up with them this week. Discuss terms. Okay, Steve. Good luck. Thanks, Mary. monster Thank deal. You. Yeah, of course I've been a good mail carrier. This is mail carrier federal mail stuff is very serious. I'm not fucking around. Okay, but look, see. Here's my agenda. Let's watch TV. I already read a book the other day. Hmm. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. I have good news. Jean-Paul has agreed to become the chef of the downtown restaurant. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Rock and roll. There is only one problem. Jean-Paul is not a cook, but a car technician. All right. Good morning, Meredith. There's an envelope today with an incomplete address on it. It only says Mickey in June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? I have no idea. Mm, I'm afraid not, Frank. It's easy. Just drive past Jack Reynolds Land, and it appears on your right side on the lake shore. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> no, it's about something else. What's in those envelopes for you? Oh, that's just for stamps. Saves them the hassle of driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later. Hope you're enjoying the job as much as your dad did. Morning, P.O. How about I know. Steve to start the weekend? Or will it be a pop? 
Like my options were all like get in everybody's business. And it's like, for what? Positive. Tina Banks has the answer. Theo, positive or that P. Jack, I've had this pet peeve for years. We've got a beautiful lake and a nice boulevard, but why don't we have one of those coin-operated binoculars? I like the idea, Tina. Hmm. Let's take a closer look at today's weather now. A few clouds, but nothing but sunny skies in the end. And now, music. Yeah, Meredith is um, really something else with her busybody nosiness, and it needs to stop. Otherwise, this game is, is great, but that's like the one annoying thing about Meredith. Nobody's home. Nope. No answer. Let's drop the package and go, Meredith. Let's not comment on anything either. We're just going to do our damn fucking job, Meredith. It is quite a cute town. I really like it. I'm trying I need to figure out where I need to go first or next I'm gonna be super lazy I'm gonna autopilot to the video store even though it's literally around the corner oh is that what I'm supposed to do I'm supposed to park in this spot and then bring the package in I didn't know that I've been parking in the alley I've been parking in the middle of the street Listen, discovering the autopilot feature was everything. Here you go, Angie, and please don't, I don't Hi, like Angie. you. Oh, hey. So, did things work out with the movie box? Yeah, yeah, it was fine. Yeah, what's wrong with Is you? Is everything okay? You don't seem your usual peppy self. You don't know me, Meredith, okay? This can be a stressful job. Wow. Okay. I know a thing or two about stressful jobs. I'll leave you be. It's just... Never mind. But in case you still want to help with the movie box, I have two more movies I'd like to see delivered. Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. I still don't want to do it, Angie. Sorry. Fine. It was a stupid idea anyway. Now, I really me. I really hate you. Bye. If I remember correctly, she ends up like closing the store and moving away, so like please do because you suck. We hate Angie, okay?
Right? Like, that was wild. And she keeps asking me to deliver these damn movies to people in town to promote her business. Once again, no, can't do that. Yeah, the, it, that's right, a beer. Dumb Isabel vibes. All right. Interesting. So unacceptable condition. Unacceptable! Most of these I cannot fast travel to and actually, or autopilot to. I have to actually drive there. Ugh. You avoid too many channel points. That's the crazy cat lady's house. Right, this is a package. Some sort of a guitar or something. Here you go. Nope. No answer. Oh my gosh. A hundred thousand? That's wild. Beer, what if I, um, yeah, th well, this is what houses sometimes look like in the United States. This is some of the, some of the styles that the houses could be. Um, what if I, what if I did a channel point redemption of beer where you got to, like, choose the game I play? So, like, if I was playing, say, this but you wanted me to play Animal Crossing, you could redeem it and be like, play Animal Crossing. And then I would do it. What if, and it would be like a, a large amount, like 30,000 channel points or something. So that um, you would have something to use your those on. So, cause like, I get it. I have a couple of channels or I don't have that many. But, um, Ooh, interesting. you know, and I'll, I'll, I'll think of like other ones, like, I don't know. This one I can autopilot to. Oh, we gotta go give a delivery to Game Robert. Yay, Game Robert time. Ugh. All right, we have like an hour, less than an hour 
a little bit less than an hour of stream left. Yeah, believe it or not, I believe the, the full story of this game is like six hours, according to the internet. So, that's kind of crazy. The silly little mail carrier game is six hours long. Bear Creek Bridge. We'll see a cozy, silly little game like this being six hours. That's kind of wild. Like, you know, some of these cozier games are, you know, only a couple hours worth of, of story. Oh, look at him go. Hi, game Robert. Hi, Robert. Here's the mail. Thanks, Meredith. And, um, uh, sorry for leaving all of a sudden yesterday. Thanks for the apology. Um, I'm not gonna do the first one, cause that's... No problem. Leaking roofs don't fix themselves. Well, it was just... I needed some Yeah, space. see, that's not cozy. I think I've gotten a bit too used to being on my own. Well, I think some people would consider Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild cozy, and that's a long game. Was I such bad company? No, no, not at all. I, okay. I really enjoyed it. Uh, that's the only time weird about I'll make uh I make it about weird. me. There's, There's nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with, with a little weirdness. I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, let's see what's in the mail. He always opens his mail in front of us and shares what it is. A dentist appointment. Wait, why am I sharing that with you? <sighs> So yeah, no I'm not going to say the second one. That's nothing. Hallelujah. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wild card plan. What's the plan, wild Robert? Card plan? Wild card plan. Yes. Also, highly confidential. Ah. Oh, come on. I won't tell a soul. Yeah, but no. <laughs> Maybe later. It's still work in progress. Okay. Game Robert, Good please. Thanks. GR, we really love you. We do, but you are a bit you're you're a bit of an oddball. I like the truck. If it was a different color, can I Oh, I can't. Imagine I took the truck. Imagine it let me drive other vehicles besides this mail truck. What is... So I could put a marker here and then autopilot to here. And then drive the rest of the way. Smart. Jack Reynolds, the radio man slash farmer, really needs to add at least like two or three more songs. This is uh and where's the witchcraft song? We haven't heard the witchcraft song this whole time. Maybe we have, but it's been a while. I've heard this one a billion times. Yeah, we're going way down south.
calling this a road is okay. Oh, you got a postcard. How nice. Just reminded me of yesterday when I flipped the van and then it spun and rolled down the hill all the way back to where I had just come from. And it was really funny. I think it was this hill. Yeah, it was. So I rolled all the way back down this hill and I just kept spinning around. Seem like there's two dots there. Literally, I remember dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. Is it a letter? Yeah. How? That's okay. Hello there. Hey, how are you? I may have oh, mail yeah. for you. Is it addressed to this. Mickey or Jill or both? To both. Here you go. Oh, sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you, too. Woo! What kind of paper? Uh, it's not toilet Probably paper. a bit of cash and some... Rolling paper? Uh. Ah, that kind of paper. <laughs> yeah, I, um. I better get going. It was nice to meet you. Okay. Bye, sweet Meredith. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, probably the second one to be here. For gardening. <sighs> oh, I know what I'm doing after I get my shots. Stuff it doesn't take too long. But knowing that pharmacy will probably take forever. There. 
Lady in the middle of the road. Get out of the way. End work day. Do do do. Hey, Em, it's me, Kay. <laughs> wow, I just like instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers. <laughs> Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. You know what I mean? Oh man, I had that once when Barry bought me lilacs and the smell instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. And I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. You remember that, right? What if it's like that with old phone numbers? You go, must dial M, and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Man. Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. Huh. Oh no, we're meeting Kay. That sounds fun. The Countess and the Carpenter. Oh, I guess Chapter we're reading two. a book. I didn't Cecilia even get to hated choose. old Mr. Nabenshoe's table manners. The way he slurped rhubarb into his digestive system was quite the dampener on Cecilia's appetite. She wanted to get out of here and drink and dance with the common folk. Every night, she heard their merry noises travel through her bedroom window. The sounds of real life. What am I doing? I, I'm not... I don't really understand how I keep making choices, but I'm not choosing things. Oh, shit. I forgot to read. She delivered packages and letters and had meetings. I wonder what next week will bring, but not before ending this week meeting an old friend. Should be interesting. Oh, I see. Should I just come up? Come on up! You just have to watch your step on the third ledge. Should be good. It just sounded like a step on the third ledge. I completely got what you just said, and I'm coming up. Why is that, like, sarcasm? It's that third step, right? I'm surprised no one's fixed it in all these years. <laughs> so glad you made it. Isn't it nice up here? <sighs> Brings back memories, doesn't it? Any memory in particular you're thinking of? Yeah, this was definitely not in the game before when I played. Those times I came up here by myself at night when the stars were out, so serene. Yeah, I've had many of those nights too. Still have them, in fact. Hey, remember when I snuck in those beers from Uncle Stan? And they were really disgusting, and you puked all over the rail? In fact, wasn't it kind of where you're standing right now? Oh my gosh, it totally was! Hold up. I seem to remember it was closer to where you were standing. Like exactly where your hands are now. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're back. I kind of missed having you around. Oh. 
I feel the same way. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. And maybe now it's time for something different. Is it now? Providence Oak's different enough for you? Well, maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Ooh, that sounds juicy. Is this about something or someone? That's for me to know and me to find out. Why is it so there she echoey? Goes with the crazy eyes. M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. <laughs> I don't think it would be all that right, echoey. Alright, alright, I'm backing off. What about you? How have you been? I mean, really. Really, really? It's been great, and it's been tough. You know, I guess it's like that for everyone. I mean, I wanted to go to art school, yes, but... Turns out I wasn't good enough, or at least that's what they told me when I applied. So I decided to stay and do my own thing. Make music, perform and stuff, you know. I picked up some shifts at the diner, Barry and I reconnected, when this day got ends, married, because... and then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? He turns 13 in a few months. Time flies. Anyway, having Max gave things a different rhythm, but I still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland. Lined up a few interesting gigs. Tough to balance, but fun. That sounds exciting. Yeah, just like that, Uncle Stan got sick. Hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was, just about to get somewhere with my music. But I just couldn't let them down, so I stayed. Helped out nursing Uncle Stan, picked up his shifts at the diner. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. You just do it. Where was Barry in all this? Barry was actually really great. We divided tasks back at the house, and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. And now you still work at the diner? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. Up until now, it felt like too much. Too soon. Too definitive. But I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. The way things ended up, it may not have been part of my master plan. But I got to spend some of the most precious moments of my life with the most precious people I know. Got to say goodbye to Uncle Stan and be there for Mo. He basically raised me. I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family of my own, right here in good old P.O. And one day, those kids will hurl all over this rail, just like we did. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's been tough, but looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. Oh, that's so great, Kay. I'm glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual. Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? <sighs> so, ready to descend to the world below? I think I'll stick around. Enjoy the view some more. <laughs> the view from the top of the ivory tower. Be careful not to get too used to it, young lady. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for the invite. I'm glad I came by. Just try to cut down the word count on the answering machine next time, would you? Oh, you better buy yourself some new tapes for your machine, Weiss. Just kidding. <laughs> you know how I get when I get nervous. Thanks for joining, Em. This was... I Good. Then why she's calling you M? Her name is Meredith.
Unless she means M as in like the letter M and not M as in E Hello? M M. You are speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? Hey, Steve. You're in a good mood. Meredith, please tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. Add it 87 in shops all across America. M -m 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 monster deal. Calm down, Steve. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer, right? They read our great pitch. They loved it, and they want to buy 250,000 copies of Added 87. Mm. 250,000. Multiply that by, like, 35 bucks. <sighs> That's a lot. But it's not a done deal yet, right? Not yet, but... Oh, oh, so close. I can almost taste it. Listen, I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Please, please, check, check, double check, check it right away. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? Okay. Gotcha, Steve. Don't worry about it. Awesome. I'll be in touch again Tuesday evening. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. The Countess and the Carpenter, Chapter 3. Come in, were the most regretted words Cecilia had uttered in a long time. They were instantly followed up by, Get out! when she saw the surprised face of the Carpenter's apprentice, instead of her niece, Anna. Apparently, her hosts wasted no time in addressing the problem of a malfunctioning bathroom faucet. Okay. All right. I oh, will Steve's parcel and another yeah. note from Tess. Hey M, mm. here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office, I would like to ask you a few questions. I'm not breaking any rules. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Um, yes, well... The gist of it. Can you remember the segment from Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph? I'm sorry. That part seems to have slipped my mind. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for Which personal gain. I have not gain. done. Oh. Okay, sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here, but I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. Nope. No, of course. I mean, uh, yes, sir. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest Which level of scrutiny. Which is why I've been following all the rules. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes. Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him that weren't postmarked? No, I refused. No. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? I think I know that, yes. Yes. That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm not meddling. None of my business. All right. I will return later today.